everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have Whip and Chat. Um, before we get started, I'm going to turn my tiny human, who's turned her bedroom into a wrestling ring, down just a little bit. Um, if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting and some other crafting-related content, but I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express, let's all be friends if you've been here before. Hi, welcome. Thanks for coming back. Uh, if you don't know what a Whip and Chat is, um, <coughs> excuse me. That is when I work on my current whip, WIP, which is work in progress. You can pull out whatever it is that you are working on and work alongside with me. <coughs> there is definitely a frog at my throat. Let me grab a sip of water. Mm -hmm. um, in this whip and chat, by the way, you will definitely be hearing um, computer noises from my husband in the background. Tiny human noises from my tiny human. Um, and hopefully that's it. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have any other chaos, but... Uh, if you are here and you have been participating in Alice in the Winter Wonderland, um, hi, thank you. Uh, so in this video, oh, I didn't even tell you guys what a whipping chat is. If you don't know what a whipping chat is, I said, this is when I work on my current whip. And again, this is Alice and Roses, and I can leave the unboxing for that one up in the eye. Um, and you can work alongside while you are crafting, while you are doing like household chores, doing laundry, doing dishes, cleaning, driving, working, whatever it is that you want to be doing, there is no right way or wrong way to whip and chat. So for this particular whip and chat and every whip and chat during the duration of the event, I do um, something where I give you an opportunity to be a featured account during my slideshow videos, which I will talk about here in a second. So what that means is I will put up, I call them Easter eggs. They are quick little gifts or memes, or photos, or anything like that. And when I say quick, I mean like fractions of a second, not something that's on the screen for five seconds. Um, and it'll pop up on the screen. I usually put multiple ones in a video, and you have an opportunity. If you screenshot it and send it to me, you can either direct message me on Instagram, or you can send me an email. All of my information is always down below. And the first person to find one of, doesn't need to be all of, one of my Easter eggs will become my featured account for the next slideshow video. Now, you don't have to participate in, in Alice in a Winter Wonderland to become the featured account. Um, but obviously, you are probably likely participating if you are watching those videos. <laughs> Uh, what I do in those videos is I compile a slideshow. Um, I was going to say essentially, but no, that's exactly what it is. I make a slideshow and I showcase images from people who are participating in the event and who have given me permission to use their handle. Um, let me take one giant step backwards before I get into that. And, and we'll, we'll talk about all of this real quick so that you guys can still hear what's going on in my week. But... For those who don't know how this works, I'm going to just give you a little bit of context. So, the slideshows are for people who are participating in Alice in a Winter Wonderland. Um, it is only going to show images of people who have filled out the Google Doc, posted their starting photo to their feed, and given me permission in that Google Doc. That's why it's so important. One of the reasons why it's so important for me to say, please make sure you fill out that Google Doc. Because it does say, do you share, do you allow me to share your handle, yes or no? Um, not everybody is okay with that, and I totally understand that. Some people would rather keep their social media private. I totally understand that. Um, but for those who are curious how anything works for me, the way I run my event, I cannot speak to any other event hosts out there. When you fill out the Google Doc, I go one by one through each submission, and I mark down if um, when your starting photo is posted, when when you finish the canvas, um, if there's any issues. Like, for example, I was waiting for somebody to accept a follow request, so I changed the color of their name so I knew this person, I haven't been able to access their account. Or if you say no to the permission, I make it in red. Then the next thing that I do is that I go through the event hashtag, uh, which is just Alice in a Winter Wonderland. There is no 2023 at the end of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <coughs> you are more than welcome to use that in addition to Alice in a Winter Wonderland, but if you just use one with the year, I probably will not know that it exists um, because I am not double, triple checking 
if something was misspelled or using a different hashtag, things like that. Anyway, so uh, what I do, how my process is, like I said, I go through. And any time that I confirm somebody's submission, I make sure that I like and comment their photo. That's a really good indication that I've seen somebody's image. If I have not liked or commented or both on any of your photos, on any of them, um, then I am not seeing them. Whether your page is private, you're using the wrong hashtag, you're tagging the wrong person, whatever it may be. If that is the case, if you are somebody who has been submitting since the beginning of January and I have not liked or commented a single photo of yours for the event, please send me a DM. Um, anyway, so I, like I said, go through that one by one. And in my case, for the slideshow video, I was going through submissions from the starting photos for January 1st. So I had a couple of people that posted their photos before January 1st, and then they, they didn't start working on it until then. Um, so I had hundreds of images to go through. Anything that I didn't like uh, previously, I double-checked on the spreadsheet and as I was going through, and this is why it's such a time-consuming process for me, and it's a labor of love, and I do it because I know how much you guys enjoy it, but I also want you guys to understand how much goes into one of these, you know, 10-minute videos for me. So now, I've gone through these, and as I'm going through, I screenshot um, uploads from the people. Again, if you are not on the Google Doc... None of your photos are in the spread in the slideshow. If you never posted a starting photo, but you've been posting progress photos, uh, it will not be in the slideshow. Um, if you didn't use the right hashtag, or if there was some other issue, then I I, I probably didn't see it. Um, and I said in my last video that I'm not gonna take everybody's photos that I see so like don't it's not intentional if I'm overlooking you um because I've had people in previous years actually accuse me of intentionally leaving them out um which again not the case um but very simply stated I can't bend the rules for like one or two people because then I have to bend it for everyone um but if you ever have any questions, just shoot me a DM. I'm, I'm really easy to, to ask these questions to, and I'm, I'm easy to work with. But anyway, so then I go through and I screenshot. In this case, um, and I try to make sure that I'm doing no duplicates of the same person and avoiding anyone who said no. So as I'm screenshotting all of these, I'm also double-checking my, my spreadsheet. Again, there were 150 entries at the time of this. Um, there were 108 photos that were used for this video. So that is... Um, a couple hundred posts that I'm going through, 108 photos that I am screenshotting, then I am cropping every one of them, and then I am adding them to the slideshow, and then I am adding music to them, I'm recording the intro, the outro, putting it all together, uploading it, and processing it to YouTube. The entire process last night took me, um, a little over two and a half hours, uh, like, between two and a half, three hours, um, and the video is like a 15 minute video. Um, I have no regrets. <laughs> the first one is always the longest and the hardest because you have so many people with their starting photos. Um, you have people who submit their starting photo and then never work during the event or never post during the event. Um, I've got people who, um, have changed their handles. This is something I want to address real, real quick too. And then I'll get into my week here. If you change your handle, or I've had quite a few people do this, they started out, they posted their starting photo on their personal Instagram account and then decided, I'm going to make a second account that's dedicated to crafting or diamond painting or whatever it may be. But if you don't tell me that that's the same person or that you're shifting over to that, I don't know. So last night I sent out about a dozen messages to people saying, hey, did you change your handle? Um, do you have a second account? Please fill out the Google Doc, things like that. Um, I had one person who literally had just changed their handle like that day and they were like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And I was like, no, it's okay. I just, if you tell me your screen name is 
Josie Smith one two three, and I look for Josie Smith one two three, and now that doesn't exist, and now it's uh, Josie's Diamonds Creations. I'm not going to know that you changed your name to that, um, or if you went from Josie Smith one two three to Brightest Diamond Ever and made a second account, I'm not going to know it's the same person unless you tell me. So, um, I probably give people way too many chances in terms of this event, but I just want everyone to have fun and to love it and. Um, you know, it's easier to maintain once you get things started. So now that I have a start and end point from where this last slideshow left off, I know for the next week where I'm starting. Uh, so I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't remember if I've linked it or not. If I haven't, I will link it up in the eye right here for you guys. Please go check it out. If you see your canvas, uh, leave me a little note down below. And if you want to be the featured account in the next slideshow, make sure you guys find all the Easter eggs, one of the Easter eggs, any of the Easter eggs in this video and shoot me a DM. I will use my platform, however big or small it may be compared to others, and I will showcase you whatever it is you want. You want me to showcase your Instagram? You got it. You got a small business? You got it. Your your best friend has a small business? You, whatever it is. Um, and it's a really great way for people to find Briar. Girl, she is singing at the top of her lungs. Like, that is an understatement. Um, and it's always the same thing. It's the Frozen 2 soundtrack. Um, I don't know why it's never Frozen 1. It's always Frozen 2. And then as soon as Frozen 2 soundtrack is done, it just stops playing music. Meanwhile, whatever we play at night, like, I could go in there at her nap time and it's still playing. I find it very odd, but... Anyway, I just, I love being able to showcase you guys, and, and as the event grows, which I'm planning on hosting it again next year, um, I'm probably going to need to figure out a better method, because, um, you know, we get more people, it's more time consuming, it's harder to keep track, but it is what it is, I'm enjoying it, I hope that you guys are enjoying it, uh, this is my canvas for it, um, and yes, if you're looking at me... I've mentioned before, I call myself a free-range diamond painter. Um, unless I have a super, super massive canvas where I, I struggle to fit it, whatever, width-wise, length-wise, on the table. Um, I don't section anything off. And if you are actually, like, watching this, uh, indeed, I am working on the entire width of this canvas at the same time. It's not very wide. It's a 40 by 54. So, 40 centimeters wide. But anyway, now that I've rambled on, per usual, I hope that you guys are excited. Let's get into the fun stuff. Um, what letter did I just pull out? Oh, D. Um, so, I got the slide chest. I got my notes, everything. I'm trying to be official again. Um, all right. So, um, Sunday, last Sunday, we took our daughter to a princess and Spider-Man brunch. Um, it was a super cute event that was at a local brewery. It's very weird. It's a brewery that has a coffee shop attached to it. Great, cute, whatever. Um, however, I was told the only way that you can do this is if you make a reservation through Open Table. And I was like, okay. So I go to make a reservation. Of course, I couldn't make a reservation for the start time of the event because they only have X amount of tables available for reservation. I get it. It makes sense. So um, I have no idea the duration of the event. Like, none of this. But we made the uh, we made the reservation. We booked it. It had four princesses and Spider-Man, I believe. No, it was three. Uh, we didn't know who would be there when we booked it, but it ended up being Mirabelle and Isabella from Encanto, uh, which, if you guys watched Encanto, who's your favorite sister? Louisa is the best, in my opinion. Just gonna put that out there. Anyway, um, and then it was Cinderella and Snow White. So, I had received a phone call like a couple days before the event from the restaurant telling me that there was a strict time limit on my reservation because they had other people who wanted to make reservations and they needed our table and I was like well first of all like this is the woman who called was super rude just super rude and I was like oh okay and I asked her 
like, are we still going to be able to participate in the event if you need our table? She's like, what event? What event? This is your restaurant. I I'm just a patron. Um, she had no idea what I was talking about. And then, of course, I reached out directly via social media to the restaurant and they never got back to me. When I reached out to the party company to see if she had any answers, she informed me that, indeed, they also gave her the runaround. So I was like, uh... But it gave Briar an opportunity to wear her Elsa dress, which she loves. She got that when we went to Disney and we got our princess makeover. Um, I also am sitting on a butt pillow. I talked about this. I want to say it was on Instagram. Um, and I feel like I need to lower my chair because now I feel like I'm very high above this. Um, also, these D's and O's that are like, the same color, with the same color background, are driving me crazy. And I can't take a photo of it to show you guys for the post review because I am currently recording on my phone that I would take the photos with. Anyway, so we did that. Um, She just, she had a very hard time, like, she, it was just a rough morning. Uh, we ran into one of her teachers. But it was a cute little event, and she loved it. And then she said something to me about, um, like, I was very honest with my kid this week about, like, you are burning mommy out. Uh, whether I should express these things to my kid or not, you know, you can keep your opinions on that to yourself, really. But I I need her to understand that, like, sometimes mommy's a better mommy if mommy's not with you all the time. And same thing with my husband. Like, we both need a break. A small break. A lunch break. Whatever it is. And... So she was telling me she loves it when Mommy and Briar go get food together. And I said, oh, where do you want to go get food with Mommy? And she said, we can go back to the brewery. I love how she said the brewery. Like, she doesn't know that there's, like, a symbol, in the, a syllable in the middle. And she's just, she's a hoot. And I was like, oh, um, okay. And she's, like, talking about princesses again. And I was like, Briar, that was, like, a one-time thing. So now she thinks in her mind every time we go to the brewery, it's going to be a princess event. And I'm like, well, you're going to be sorely disappointed because I'm not sure that they're ever going to do another one there. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, we did that. That was our big Sunday. And then Monday, kiddo went back to school. We dropped her off, went to Dunkin'. Um, usually on Mondays, I get the extended day. And then I take my kid ice skating because uh, the school and the rink are on the same street. And it's quite convenient. Uh, however, however, we had not discussed it at all. Uh, so we didn't sign her up for the extended day because you have to pay for that in advance. And they say they need to know in advance because they want to make sure that there's a need for it. Because if there's no people signed up for it, the teachers don't stay. Except for that I know that there are kids who stay every single Monday and Wednesday for the extended day. And they, they've told us, like, they've got kids signed up for the whole year. Um... So we pick her up, and she's like, we're going ice skating today. And I was like, wait, what? Uh, so I was wearing flip-flops. If you guys didn't know, I sprained my ankle uh, right after Christmas. And while I can wear shoes, I couldn't get my foot into certain shoes. Like, the angle of getting my foot in that position was uncomfortable. So I was like, screw it. I'm just going to wear, like, flip-flops. What are we doing today that I need to wear real shoes? Well, needless to say, I needed real shoes because we were at the ice rink. Um, so my husband stayed home and he worked. And I took her to the rink. And some of the older girls were there, like older, like 12, 13, 14-year-old girls. And they get a kick out of her. They think she's so cute. And they're always like, she's so good. And I'm like, I wish that my kid would hear them saying that and believe it. Because when I tell her, she doesn't really, truly believe it. Although I think she's starting to. Um, but it was cute. She she had a good time at the rink. Um, but it took like four people telling her, your mommy's trying to leave. You need to put your boots on for her to put her boots on. And... I just, I just didn't have it in me to, like, flip out at her, which is unusual because, like, I usually have no problem with that. Um, we're going to pretend I didn't say that, but, you know, it's true. <coughs> My God. It's so dry in here. Maybe it's not. I don't know. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this Stanley Cup. Anyway, so 
but they loved her and they got a kick out of her and we had a good time. And then my husband and I were talking. If there's one thing you need to know about Brian, it's he's a pizza snob. He's a pizza enthusiast. He'll eat pizza even if it's not good pizza and he'll still eat it. However, he has like his hopes and dreams of like the perfect pizza pie, which do not exist where we live. So we were chatting about Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza. It is a chain. It is owned by Dan Marino, if I'm not mistaken. Well, enough for the, the story here. And it's like almost an hour drive away. Did we drive that far for pizza? Hell yeah, we did. Uh, we got pizza. We got wings. Those wings that we had were unbelievable. I, I was... It was so good, you guys. So good. Um... But it made for a long day. It made for a good day. We had a really wonderful time. The pizza was delicious. Um, and it is like super crispy brick oven. Well, it's not brick oven. It's even hotter than that. It's coal fired. Um, and again, none of this is fun. <laughs> this is just me and my wallet saying, screw you, $8 eggs. We're going to go get a pizza an hour away. Um, so we did. And then Tuesday, we started back up at Tots, and I was really surprised to see there were no new kids signed up this session, which is shocking to me. But Briar is over with the big kids. Um, she is now the youngest of the big kids side. And then there's some beginner kids that are still on the... They haven't made it to the line yet. But Briar is also the only one on the big kids side that doesn't play hockey or doesn't have intentions of playing hockey. Um, I keep switching out pens. Part of the reason I switch out pens, in case anyone is curious, not that anyone asked, um, is that I don't have to change my wax as often. And also I like certain tips for certain things. Like if I'm working on an area where everything is like two, three of a color, I'm not going to use like a 10 placer because then I have to replace my wax in that more often. Anyway, there's the long explanation that literally nobody has <laughs> before. Uh, hey, you guys. I love you all. I hope that you know that. I hope that you guys all know that I love and adore you and I appreciate each and every one of you. And, uh, yeah, whoever decided like the symbol choice, like D and O are together, W and M are together, I should probably make a note of that. Let's let's make a note of that together, shall we? Um, D and O, M and W. There was another one, and I don't know what I did with my notes. So, but anyway, what am I working on again? D. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. So Tuesday after tots, um, I don't remember. We were gonna go to Target, I think, but we didn't. I don't remember why we went that way, but we ended up going to Noodle & Co. for lunch. Um, and I had their vegan or whatever orange chicken, like their fake chicken. Um, which, in case you guys did not know, I am very much a meat eater. I don't do chicken. Not because I don't like the taste. I just don't like the grossness of chicken. Like, bloodlines and fat caps and just... Bleh, bleh, nope. Mm -mm. So I have no problem eating fake chicken. I, I quite enjoy, not all of it, some of it is not great, but I enjoyed that. Um, and then on the way home, we went to Ollie's. Uh, Ollie's is uh, a discount overstock store. Uh, they are a chain, but I think they're only like local to like the Northeast. So I don't know if you guys have them where you are. Their slogan is, good stuff, cheap. Now... Anyone who watches, um, where's my, Bluey, excuse me, uh, my husband loves the grannies. If you guys have never seen Bluey, I highly recommend you look up this episode. It is adorable and hilarious, and the episodes are like seven minutes long. So anyway, the sisters, Bluey and Bingo, they dress up like grannies, Rita and Janet, and, um, in that particular episode... Uh, I slipped on my beans is the big catchphrase, catch phrase. And there are these Janet and Rita figures. However, they go for a lot of money on eBay. So my husband's like, I don't want to spend that much money on, you know, a little figure. Like we're talking like a little figure, like a two inch figure. 
<coughs> excuse me. So he had seen, he's part of a, a bluey group for adults and, um, he had seen that they had them available at Ollie's. So we were driving home and he's like, you know, what? why don't we stop? And I was like, all right. So it was kind of a bust. We didn't really find, we didn't find any of the bluey stuff and there was not a whole lot of stuff that interested us. Briar found, it was a pack of Frozen 2 figures that were like six ninety nine for two figures and a horse or a horse. And a I don't remember. It was just a couple of figures. She was very, very excited about it. Um, and for six ninety nine, dollars uh, it was worth every penny for us. So we did that, but we didn't really find like a lot of other stuff. And then I was over in the book area with Briar and I found a random like diamond painting toolkit, you know, like with the green tray and the pen just in the plastic bag. And I was like, did somebody just leave this here? Or is there like a random diamond painting somewhere that's like, help me. I need my diamond painting toolkit. Um, I don't know. The world may never know. I hope that you uh, are, are well diamond painting toolkit on the random shelf at Ollie's. But we did that. And then what else did we do that day? Um, I've decided that I... I'm embracing the fact that I now have wavy hair. If you guys didn't hear the story, I, I'm 40. I turned 40 in November. Um, a couple months before I turned 40, I realized that I have wavy hair. I've had straight hair my whole life. It's been getting more and more textured. Um, but I always assumed that it was wavy because my hair, when I get out of the shower, immediately goes up in a bun. So the one day, I actually let my hair air dry to see. And I said, Brian, can you take a photo for me? And he did. And lo and behold, I have like actual ringlets. And I was like, huh, look at that. I'll be damned. So I've been watching some videos and reels and things like that. And I'm, I'm learning how to start to care for my wavy hair and made a list of things that I wanted to go to Target and get, um, which I did do later in the week. And um, I also booked a hair appointment. So I actually am getting my hair choppy chopped. In a few days, and I'm very excited. If you guys have never seen me, like, in photos, uh, my hair is below my waist. My hair is ridiculously long. And my husband and I, for a very, very long time, have actually grown our hair out, and we, we grow it and donate it. Um, I've done it, I don't even know how many times. I think I've probably donated, like, close to four feet of hair in my life. And we were going to do it over, like, more recently, but then we were in a pandemic, and it was like, well, it's not really worth, like, cutting our hair when we're doing nothing. We're sitting at home. So, I've gotten to the point now where my hair is just, it's, like, unruly. It's so long. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's just long, and it sheds everywhere, and so I'm going to be chopping my hair. I will be sharing it with you guys. Oddly enough... Um, I got Facebook reminded the other day that it was our, like, eighth or ninth anniversary of us donating the last time we donated together, uh, which we donated 25 inches of hair between the two of us. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, I have not had my hair professionally touched in years now. Uh, this summer I was down at my mom's house. I was like, Mom, can you just cut the dead ends off? Listen, my mom is not a hairdresser. She's not a hairstylist. But she spent many years, like, trimming my bangs and things like that. So I, I know that she can handle just cutting the dead ends off. Also, because my hair is always in a bun. Like, I didn't care if it was straight or even or whatever. I just wanted the dead ends off. Five inches later, <laughs> I was like, Mom! She's like, I'm sorry. It wasn't even. And I was like, I don't care. So, yeah, I chopped a lot off over the summer. It's longer than it was then, um... Not, like, boasting or bragging or anything like that, but my hair does grow really, really fast. And I am definitely one of those people that's a firm believer of, like, if my hair could do good for someone else, then, like, why wouldn't I do it, you know? Um, and everybody has their own decisions, and Briar asked me, because I was talking to her about it, I wanted to let her know. She's never seen, like, a huge hair change on her mom, and I just wanted to make sure that she was okay with it she understood it and I explained to her what I was doing and that my hair was going to go help sick kids who didn't have hair for whatever reason and um you know I didn't get too in-depth into like cancer or alopecia with her but I um 
she asked me if she had to do that when she cut her hair. And I said, absolutely not, kiddo. If this is something you want to do, mommy and daddy will encourage you to do it. We'll be there for you. But uh, we will never force you to donate your hair. Um, my daughter right now also doesn't have, like, that much hair. So even if she cut it, it would be, like, an inch or two. It's, you know, it's not anything that they'd be able to use anyway. But I want her to have this normalized so that when she does see mommy and daddy cutting and donating our hair that it's like oh that's a cool thing that my parents do and not like oh that's weird or like why are you giving someone else your hair or do I have to do that or why do you always grow your hair and then cut it really short you know so Wednesday we dropped her off at school we did a post office run it's funny we went to um there's like a little cafe that we go to probably once a week after school, it's close by, it's affordable, they've got a ton of kids options. Briar ordered a hot dog, and they were like, oh, does she want the bun this time? And I was like, do you want the bun? She's like, no. And I was like, wow, that's, that's crazy to me, because so many times she'll, she orders a hot dog, and she'll literally take it out of the bun and just eat the hot dog. And I was just impressed that they remembered that. Um, then we ended up going to our, there's a indoor play place for kids, we did that on Wednesday night because they have extended hours on Wednesday. And she was playing with this little guy. If I had to guess, he was probably like four and she's five. Um, but they were playing so well together and it was so sweet. And I was just waiting for somebody to make the comment. Oh, is that her boyfriend? <laughs> no, it's not. She's five. Let's calm those tips. Um, How are we on time? Oh, my God. I thought I was like running out of time. Turns out I'm like halfway through my whip and chat, you guys. But it was really, really sweet to watch them together. And uh, I could see she was really sad when he left. And it, it the concept of, like, making friends as kids is so weird. Like, they just go up to each other and they're like, oh, we like the same thing. Let's play. Now we're friends. But kids, I don't know if you've ever taken notice of this. Like, at least little kids. They don't introduce themselves. They don't ask what the other person's name is. They don't tell them the other person's name. So I went over to her at one point and I said, did you make sure to ask your new friend what his name is? And she's like, no, not yet. I'm like, did you uh, tell your new friend what your name is? No, not yet, mommy. Mind you, they'd been playing for like a half hour this time. Um, so it was cute. She told us she let him know her name, which I don't know if that's true or false. Um, I appreciate that she, it was on her radar, because sometimes it's not at all. But it's one of those things, too, that like, when you're a kid and you meet, like, two people that have the same name, like, that's wild to you. You're like, what? There are two Bryans? Like, little do you know when you grow up and you're in school, there are going to be seven Bryans in your grade. Like, it's just one of those things. Maybe not anymore because people are really into unique names. But it's definitely one of those things where, you know, most kids hear the name Briar and they don't know if they heard that right because it's not a name they've heard before. Not that I, like, chose some crazy off-the-wall name for my kid, but it's definitely not a typical name. And um, it turns out she at least found out his name because she told us his name. And it was just really sweet to watch them play because a lot of times she gravitates towards the parents of the kids that are there instead of, like, the kids. And this place isn't huge, and my daughter is not, like, a baby, so we don't hover. And you can sit in the chairs at the tables there, and you can watch your kid from almost any angle, and you don't have to be on top of them. So we give her the opportunity to have that freedom, to interact, engage, do all these things. And, you know, every once in a while we'll pop over or we'll have her come to us, but for the most part, she just gets a lot of really good independent play, and it's really wonderful to see her you know, playing in an age-appropriate way, as opposed to, like, oh, there's a baby crawling on the floor, I want to play with them, or, oh, look, there's a 35-year-old mother of three, um, which there was a woman who had, like, four kids with her, and she walked in, and I said to my husband, I'm one of those people, like, if there's something and it's an embarrassing situation and people are just looking at you and nobody's saying anything, it's a thousand times worse. Uh, you let me know your opinions on this down below, but she walked in and she had toilet paper hanging from her waistband down, like, to the bottom of her butt. It was super obvious. That means all of her kids saw it, likely saw it, I shouldn't say they all saw it, but everyone, when she walked in, saw it. 
and nobody said anything to her. And I walked up to her, I tapped her on the shoulder, and I said, hey, excuse me. And, like, the look of just pure shame and fear on her face. And I, you know, I, you don't want to make somebody feel bad. Like, that's never the intention. But also, like, if I found out that I was walking around with toilet paper hanging from my underwear for hours and nobody said anything to me, like, I would be really, like... Really? Nobody could tell me? You know, so I'm hoping that I actually, like, even though I brought attention to it, I'm hoping that I saved her from additional embarrassment. But, um, what would you guys have done in that situation? Let me know. Take another sip of my water. Mm -hmm. And then after the play place, we went out to eat a lot this week, and, and I'm aware of that. Um, it's just, it's it's been a lot in our lives. So, I was like, I really want to go to Chili's. Now, mind you. I know I talked about this in a not-so-distant whip and chat. Previously, my husband could ask me a hundred times if I'd want to go to Chili's, and I'd be like, one out of every hundred, I'd be like, let's go. But man, their mozzarella sticks are unbelievable. Um, I had a really bad situation with food at Applebee's recently, and um, I ordered salmon, and it came out, and it was, like, gray. Not, like, a little gray, but, like, gray. And it smelled rotten, and I was like, absolutely not. I'm not touching this. And I was like, am I making the mistake ordering the spicy salmon, whatever, whatever, at Chili's? We'll find out. And I did not regret it at all. It was delicious, and I was quite impressed. Um <sighs> Oh, good. Now my kid's calling for my help. <sighs> All right, I'll be right back. And I'm back. So apparently my kid threw her pants somewhere she couldn't reach it, and that was like crisis mode. But my husband talked her off the ledge. But uh, anyway, so I don't know what I was talking about. I was talking about chilies, but it was delicious. <laughs> I highly recommend if you like mozzarella sticks, they've got really good mozzarella sticks. And they're not like regular sticks. They're like fat sticks. <laughs> Like planks. <laughs> planks little little mozzarella benches they're they're delicious and i i highly highly recommend so we had been so go 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 this week that i had let our daughter know like look kid we're gonna do nothing on thursday which is what we did um so i deal with my kid has situations where she has things removed from her room. Um, in general, we have a pretty empty room in her room. She's allowed... It used to be two soft friends. Now it's turned into like two armfuls of soft friends. But that's it. She has no books, no toys, no anything like that. And her bathroom is completely cleared out because she kept going into her bathroom and getting into things, making potions, and um, just overall doing gross things in her bathroom. So the bathroom is cleared out and like we moved all the stuff to the spare bedroom and one by one, we're letting her have things back. Like I took away her soap because she emptied all of her soap in a couple days and I've been divvying out uh, soap strips. So I will leave one in her bathroom for her before like for her to wash her hands with when she goes to bed and another one for when she wakes up in the morning. Um... And all these things. So she was at this point where she had things taken away from her. But then the problem is when she has absolutely nothing in her room, she becomes like disruptive, destructive. Um, and she just goes crazy and is running and jumping and throwing herself into things. And that's when she goes into the bathroom and is like, well, what can I do to keep me busy in here? But the problem is, if I give her stuff in her bathroom, she gets into it. If I give her stuff in her bedroom, then she doesn't go to sleep. So it's this huge double-edged sword of like, if I take things away, then she's destructive. But if I give her things, then she's distracted. And it's like, ah, I cannot find the happy medium. And it's driving me nuts because, um, again, I caught her in her bathroom making potions we have a cap that we use to help the drain in our in our bathroom. It's literally just a cap to an old deodorant and it covers the drain and it, it anyway, so she took a bunch of toilet paper because again, she has nothing else in her bathroom and got it wet, so it turned into like this paste 
And then she left it on her counter and not understanding there's a hole in that cap. And then the water seeped out all over her counter. And then she had this like gummy, like wet tissue all over the place. I'm just like, can you just please use the bathroom like a normal human being? Go potty, wash your hands, close the door, go back to your room. Like, I don't understand why this is so difficult, but it is. And she got back into her stuff and I'm just like, girl, girl, girl. So, um, let me see. I have a, I put some notes on the other side of this. And I realize now that I could have just, like, taken this sheet off, but I didn't because I made things complicated. Um, and in case anyone's curious, that is a Golden Girls uh, minder. Anyway, so the next day was Friday, Friday the 13th. I am not a superstitious person. I've had many a birthdays on Friday the 13th. I actually find Friday the 13th to be pretty lucky. Well, fuck me and fuck my life because Friday... Uh, you know, we did the use. We dropped our kid off at school, went and got Duncan. I don't know if we went and got Duncan. Probably did. We do like every month, every, every day we drop her off at school. Um, and I'm really excited for not January flavors because I'm, I'm not loving, like I'm, I'm bored. I want, I want something new. Anyway, um, again, okay, let me check time. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got 20 minutes, you guys. Holy moly. Um, so... We have had an issue with our front passenger side tire just not holding pressure very well. And I don't mean like losing a ton of pressure, but just enough that it keeps setting off the sensor and we keep putting in air and all of these things. So Friday we, you know, get in the car as we do and we are ho-humming to go pick up Briar at school. Now, mind you, my kid lives like five minutes away from school. And we turn on the car and we're driving and the sensor goes off. Uh, it is telling us we now have five pounds of pressure in our tire. It's supposed to be 32. Five pounds. And Brian's like, uh-oh. So we take it to the gas station on the way to my daughter's school. We fill it up with air. I call the school and I let them know, like, hey, we're running late. Um, I had gone live earlier in the day and I was like, we're going to go to the farm show after we go ice skating because we'll be near it, blah, 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 blah. And I had all these big plans. And the universe was like, no, no, you don't. And so I called the school, let them know. And of course, Friday is the only day that they don't do the extended day program. So by the time I roll up, my daughter is literally sitting at the front desk uh, with... The receptionist, she goes to school in a gymnasium, um, and a couple of her teachers are sitting there with her, and she's just coloring on the back of, like, an old calendar, um, and, you know, we wanted to get her in as timely of a manner as possible because, well, we didn't want them sitting there, you know, babysitting our kid for us, but we also want to make sure that, you know, we are safe to drive, so, um, my husband's like, okay, we're ready to go. The tire pressure keeps lowering and lowering and lowering. And he's like, I don't feel comfortable taking you guys home. So I had called. There's a tire place next to the gas station where we were getting air for the tire. And so they were like, yeah, we can get you in immediately. We can get you a new tire. We can change the tire for you. It'll be 45 to an hour. And I was like, perfect. We got this. So I called Briar's ice skating coach because um, she was supposed to have a one o'clock private lesson. And I was like, there's no chance at this point, even if they are just doing it in 45 minutes, that we are going to be able to do that and get to the rink and get her on the ice and all that stuff. So she's like, not a problem. Uh, we could talk about adding another one in next week if you want. I'm like, that's fine. You know, great. Um, oh, shit. Shoot. Um, what color did I just pull out again? You guys, I'm losing my mind. So we drop the car off and you know I end up discussing it with them that not only do we need to replace that tire we should replace the other front tire um it just it was the smarter thing to do but like this sucks after I just had like huge service bill on my car for a totally unrelated issue it's just like so I'm annoyed because I feel like I'm just like hemorrhaging money on my car that 
I shouldn't have had to hemorrhage money on. But that's neither here nor there. Nobody cares about that. Um, so right next door is Sheets. Sheets is a gas station convenience store. They have made to order food. Um, if you guys didn't know, Pennsylvania, you cannot buy liquor and beer in the same place. Um, liquor is controlled by the state. It's They have a liquor control board. But for some reason, certain gas stations and certain um, grocery stores are now allowed to sell small amounts of beer and wine together. Um, but there's no, like, liquor bottles. You still have to go to a liquor store for that. Uh, which is a very weird concept to people who come here and they're like, wait, you can't buy liquor and beer and wine all in the same place. And it's like, no, you cannot. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, Sheets sells that and they sell food. So we decided, because it's literally right next door, we were going to go to Sheets for lunch. Briar got herself uh, some meat and cheese and then a couple other snacks. And then my husband's like, well, we should also get her some like real food. So we got like an appetizer sampler thing. And then I think like my, my husband and he, he was joking about it afterwards. He definitely had food amnesia when he was ordering. Cause like once we got all the food, he's like, I forgot I ordered this. And now we have all <laughs> we had so much food. But anyway, we were there for a really long time. And I actually had put on my Instagram that we were sitting at sheets, enjoying our meal while, you know, they were fixing our tire and sheets responded to me by saying like, they could think of much worse places to be stranded and hope that everything goes well. And I was like, well, thanks, Sheets. I appreciate that. Um, but it was just one of those, like, oh, great. This is going to throw a huge wrench into our day. Now we can't go skating. I don't know if we're even going to make it to the farm show because, like, the point of going to the farm show that day was that it was right near ice skating, which no more, you know. Um, and after dealing with all of this, like, I wasn't sure we had the energy to do it. And I was right. But... It was one of those, like, super, like, she was super antsy. She's always super antsy. It was, just, it was just a lot. It was a lot to deal with. And my husband kept going outside, and he's like, okay, well, the car's, you know, still sitting in the parking lot or whatever. So, finally, the car was taken in. So, we're done. We've been at Sheets for a very long time at this point. And we walked down. Again, remember they told me 45 minutes to an hour. You guys, it took two hours. I think it was even more than two hours. My daughter was so bored, which I totally understand and I sympathize with. Because, like, normally when we're going somewhere, we have a bag of stuff that we'll take with us. But, like, she she was coming from school. So she didn't have anything to do. So my husband let her watch, like, Spider-Man cartoons on his phone at one point And, um... You know, HGTV was on the TV, so she had no interest in that. And there was, like, an old man staring at us. And it was just... It was just really... And she... She took it way better than we anticipated. But she had a really hard time because she, in her mind, was going to go ice skating. And she didn't know about the farm show, so, like, at least we didn't... Um... Have to deal with the backlash of that. But it's really hard when you prepare your kid for, like, this is what your day is going to be. They suck at transitions... And then the day doesn't go as well. And, like, you hope that they are going to move on from it well. I'm very thankful that it wasn't any worse than it was. Um, but I was not super, super thrilled about that. And then um, I said to Brian afterwards, I was like, why didn't I just get myself a bottle of wine while I was at Sheets? Uh, for those who don't know, like, I am not a big drinker at all. We still have alcohol in our fridge from the last time we had people in our driveway which was like over the summer um maybe the fall but we just and that's fine like I'm you know it was just it was just one of those days just one of them days if you're old enough to know that don't take it personal what babe <laughs> you guys didn't hear that Brian said if you're old enough to know that then it's Time to get your prostate exam. Um, obviously, if you have a prostate. Um, yeah, now I'm going to have that in my don't head. Get a if you don't have one. Well, no. Never mind. Um, but I had been wanting to go to the bakery for like days and then Briar's behavior. We were not going to reward her with going to a trip to the bakery if she was acting like the way she was acting. But finally, my husband's like, you know what? 
you want the bakery, you're going to get the bakery. And I did. And he took me. And, of course, I got something for her. But I don't even think she knows that it's there. So maybe I'll eat that. <laughs> it's been two days, you guys. Um, but anyway, so I got my bakery. And then um, I was really bummed. On Fridays, when Drag Race is airing, my husband and I, we usually hang out in Mrs. Coffee's Live and then go watch Drag Race together. Like, that's our Friday night, like, little date night. Well, the first episode didn't tape because they changed networks, and I guess my TV didn't want to keep up with that. And I was super bummed because I was like, well, this sucks, and it wasn't available on demand. So anyway, this past Friday, we were able to watch the first and second episode, um, and... We enjoyed it. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for a new season. I love Drag Race. And I don't like that they do All-Stars on Paramount Plus now. Because like I don't want to pay for networks to watch shows. Like I just want to be able to watch my shows. I sound so like curmudgeon. Old and crotchety there. I just want to watch my shows. Um, but yeah. Do you guys watch Drag Race? Let me know. <laughs> um, so did that and then Saturday uh I had said to Brian I really want to go to Target <laughs> I wanted to get some like curly hair products again I told you guys I was researching how to handle wavy hair and um I got some curl cream and some mousse and I got a sample of like a curl shampoo uh so we we're gonna try it out and see if it feels worth it to add this to, like, my shower routine. Because the other problem is, like, I don't want to wake up even earlier than I already have to wake up to do my hair. My idea of doing my hair is, like, putting it in a bun. I, when I tell you guys, like, I brush my hair a handful of times a year. Like, I just don't do anything to my hair. Um, and... Uh, so I got those products and we got a couple things. Okay, you guys, my husband and I found the steel of the century. We found this Frozen 2 castle playset thing that had an Anna and Elsa figure, a bed, Gail, the frozen horse, um, a bunch of things in it. It was originally $150, $149 marked down to $99. And then it had a sale sticker, a sale sticker on it that said forty nine ninety nine, and I was like, "Listen, even though she doesn't deserve this today, this is something for us to have in our arsenal, you know, for the future. It's totally worth it." And he's like, "You think so?" And I was like, "I, this is a hundred dollars off." But yes, I think so. And she's super, super into Frozen. Um, that's not new, uh, but. There's not as many Frozen 2 figures as there are Frozen 1 figures. For some reason, she'll tell you she likes Frozen 1 better, but she definitely seems to prefer Frozen 2 because, like, she loves the trolls and she loves the songs from Frozen 2 and she um, wants, I don't know, she just gravitates more towards Elsa and the Frozen horse. And all, anyway, super long story short. My husband goes and he goes, you take Briar. I was going to take Briar into a certain aisle, which we I ended up distracting her and letting her pick out a bath bomb, um, and it worked because soon she quickly for, forgot that there was a giant box that she was like, "What is that?" And um, he went to check out. You guys, this thing rang out as twenty nine dollars, twenty nine dollars plus. I had a five dollar reward. He didn't use it. He let me use it, um, but. It could have been a $25 toy that was originally $150. It was like, holy moly. Um, I was super, super impressed uh, by that. We were both impressed by that. I mean, how often do you find, like, the perfect toy for your kid and it's at an affordable price, uh, let alone, like, a bargain, you know? So, we did that. But yeah, I got all the stuff that I needed. And then I came home and um, I swear this kid's going through a growth spurt. We stopped and grabbed some food on the way home and she ate all of her food. Now, that might not seem like a big deal to people, but if you know my daughter, 
one of the weird quirks that she has is she doesn't ever finish anything. She'll always leave like one bite. It doesn't matter what it is, unless it's like sweets and she'll just devour those. But like a sandwich, she'll leave a bite. A pancake, she'll leave a bite. Oatmeal, she'll leave a bite. Anything that's like regular food, she'll leave a bite. Um, fruit, she'll leave like one piece. So she uh, ate the entire sandwich, proceeded to eat a quarter of my turkey, um, asked my husband for some of his turkey, and then asked for some more of our side dishes. And I was like, this kid's got to be going through a growth spurt. Um, which, you know, we encourage happy growth. Uh, but it was just funny because she just devoured it. And then my husband let her try the vinegar. And I am not a big vinegar person. Like, salt and vinegar chips are so gross to me. All you salt and vinegar people, like, do, do, your, do your mouths burn on the regular? Because, like, oh, man, I just can't. But, anywho, um, she just was just, she really enjoyed the evening. And, of course, we called the grandparents. None of the grandparents answered the phone. I was like, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and I had a family Zoom, and my parents were not there. So, I'm going to have to call them later to check in because I haven't talked to them in a few days. But, um, anyway, I came home. And I went live again. I hope that you guys are enjoying that, like, live Lindsay is back on Instagram. Um, if you don't know, like, I randomly go live during, typically during the day uh, on Instagram. And sometimes I save the replays, sometimes I don't. But I went live, like, three times this week. So it was, like, 1130-ish. And we go downstairs. I bring the tablet. I have my, my, my cell phone. And we are watching Drag Race. We are finishing up what we didn't finish the night before and watching some TV together. And I am working on just, you know, screenshotting and verifying things in the spreadsheet and doing all the boring stuff that takes the time. And then we go up to bed and I am laying in bed and I'm like, I just want to get this done because I wanted to get that video up on Sunday so that I had time to get my Whip and Chat recorded and ready to go on Sunday so that I can get it for Monday morning, um, and I did, and by the time I was done putting together the entire slideshow and doing everything, you guys, it was like 3.30 in the morning by the time it was ready to be live on, on YouTube, and I was like, oh my god, um, so I was up for ever working on it, like I said, the next one won't be as time consuming for me, but I also, um, I had to erase my old slideshow app on my phone, because it was taking up a lot of space, and I was running out of space on my phone to just do my regular videos. So, I was like, oh, I'll just reinstall it when I need it. Well, I reinstalled it. For some reason, it wouldn't let me use photos. It only wanted me to use videos. And I was like, I don't... I'm not turning these photos into... Like, how do I turn them into video? And I was like, I don't have time for this. So, I downloaded a different one. Um, I didn't love it quite as much. So, I'm going to play around with it a little bit. And see if for next week's video that I can't find some cooler looking effects, if you will. But, um, yeah. So, I hope that you guys loved the slideshow. I know as a participant of events, it's one of the things that people really enjoy. They like seeing their images on someone else's platform. And they love seeing other people's images. And I... I love watching the slideshow and seeing like, oh, that canvas was super cool. And then you go talk to that person and go, I really like your canvas. It's super cool. And now guess what? Now you have a new diamond painting friend. Um, I really, really encourage using this event as a springboard to meet new people, find your canvas twin, things like that. Um, and I, I really do stand by it. I've met some of my favorite diamond painting people through hosting this event. Or I've had people tell me, like, this is their favorite event. Or this is the first event they've ever done. And they think it's super cool. And I just, I love being able to have that. And um, being able to share my platform, no matter how big or small it is, with you guys. And I know people really enjoy the um, featured account. It gives them an opportunity to... 
uh, have new people find out who they are or to find a new small shop or, you know, whatever it may be. And I love it. I hope that you guys love it. I'm going to continue to do it, even though it feels like I sound like I'm complaining on a daily basis. I promise you guys, I just want to make this as enjoyable for you guys as I think it should be. And if that means reminding people we got to follow the rules so that everyone can participate, like I absolutely will. Um, do this. Look how nice this looks right here. You can see like her arm and then the top part of her dress and her skirt. Um, but upcoming this week, I have a small shop event hall that will feature uh, Merry Making Crafts, Bella Art Day Nicole, Kevin's Creations. Um, and huge shout out to all of our sponsors. Everybody is all listed down below. Um, and then I have a couple more unboxings. I've got two more coming to you guys from Diamond Painting Shop. If you guys did not check out my last one, I will put that up in the eye for you. Um, it is Bootstrap Betsy. I am thrilled with that one. And then I have two from two other companies, and I've got some more to film. But that's it. That's all I got for you guys for this one. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this or, you know, nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come, join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. Yay. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. I record my tiny human is sleeping, or like today, sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys!